Hello world, this is JWP, J4 Pimo Beats, coming to you live from my home studio. For around 20 years, I've been mixing and mastering music, rapping, songwriting, recently started singing, along with everything else that goes with music production, such as graphic design, editing, video editing, photo editing. And for around 15 years, I've been using SynthEdit to make my own audio plugins. Check out my website, jwpsite.com, for my social links, latest news and updates, and public offerings. My Twitch, JWP Stream, Facebook, JWP Meta. YouTube at JWPTube. If you'd like to help support what I do, check out my Patreon, JWP Patreon. That's with two Ps. There's exclusive content there for making your own audio plugins and synthetic. My GoFundMe, JWP Fund, or my PayPal, JWPMAS at gmail.com. If you are likes, comments, subscribes, clicks, follows, whatever makes you click are appreciated. Today I'll be continuing along with when remixing and remastering some of my older beats in FL Studios. Just wanted to open my window right quick. So it'll be a little bit of background ambience, but it is kind of muggy and warm in here. All right, this one's last I left off, I did pull Neutron. Because I felt like it's just kind of unfair to all the other tracks. I did want to find like a sound for the synths. However, I think I'm gonna have to do that manually. So at this point right now, I'm just doing compression across the board here. So yeah, and that's not the right channel. My headphones must have come unbunked. I'm not sure it's coming through on stream. Looks like it is. I'm double check. Yeah. Okay. So it sounds better than it was. It's probably all those weird EQs making a bunch of phase distortion. Yeah. I like these letters bigger. Okay. Oh, I did have like a really powerful kick here. It's super compressed now. Do the same thing to this one. And yeah, I'll move this up. Just drop a compressor here. Set this to drums. And reset that. Turn it off. I'm going to PEQ and figure out where engagement is. I believe it's 12, right? 12.5, yes. So I'm just going to focus on this drum. Let's put this over here. So it's sitting a little under engagement. Why did it change? Those first two were really loud. I don't know what happened there. Anyway, so about a plus of three here. Still not reaching engagement, so 4.5, probably definite engagement here. Yep. Then I'll bring in this visualizer here. And pretty much the same thing. I do believe these are the same drum, right? There, but can't hear that. It's off. Yeah, so there are different drums. So I guess the same amount of compression isn't viable, so to speak, but that is what is it here? It's full boosts. Like four. <clears throat> I'm just gonna toss one of these in here. And how many did I have? Four. Okay, so I'll this four times here. So again, over here. Okay. Turn this on, turn these off. Okay, so this is engagement here. Bring in 18, actually require that visualizer as well. That's why this is over there. Okay, so let's move this up over here. Turn 
this off. So right away I can tell the difference between the two. This one's really kicking. This one not so much. So let's start. So that's where the other one's sitting. Okay, so losing quite a bit of transient there our attack as all the other ones after that sort of come in. So I'd like to retain that attack at least. So that looks like it's probably a good point for it. See, so this one still has quite a bit of attack. And if I push it all the way like the other one, lose that attack. I lose the attack. We'll bring it down here. Perhaps I can pull on it a little bit with this one. Try right here. Still a bit much. Still getting double peaks there. So let's try a quarter. Better. Let's see if I can pull on it a little bit more. Barely. That's where I want it though, so I'm gonna leave it there. So I'm gonna double her in one part. So now I'm gonna bring it to Unity, sort of just sort of in line with everything else. It's not really Unity gain. Um, I stiff today. Right, so down. In fact, these are supposed to be balancers, right? Let's just want to click. Yep. Yeah. Let's hear it with everything else. Okay, so now on to this clap here. Same thing, compressor. Runs, reset. And just start pushing into it. Keyboard 18, I'll just grab one of these so I don't have to go through the trouble of setting it faster. And I'll just keep dropping them. Of course, not like that. It sounds like there's a kick in there. Getting to the point where it's becoming too much here. I'm gonna pass that point a long time ago. Okay, let's see what that looks like. And again, it does really sound like there's a kick in there. Okay, so I didn't even set um, engagement. Okay, so the kick or clap sitting in, it's a little under, so try three here. Okay, so that's 4.5, bugger. I was wondering why it wasn't pushing that hard. Uh, let's go 4.5. Then get rid of these other ones. Those are all only 4.5. Make sure that I got the right one here. Of course, I'm holding the click. I need to hold the click here. Just turn that off for now. Actually, it's uh, hmm. what's gonna happen if I okay, Let's turn it all on then. It's gonna be real crazy. It's starting to sound really uh, broken. 
<laughs> Master set to here. Let's mm, reset that. No. Okay. Yeah, I can hear it's totally broken now. So broken. Okay, so that's about there is when it's not broken. <clears throat> got five, so one's engagement. Let's try half of that. So can add it. Looks better. Um, one more. It's got to remember there's a kick in there too, right? So I'll try a quarter like the other one here. Oh, there, I guess. I mean, it's a little much, but it's also a kick in there. So then I'll bring that back to level with everything else. Just looking for my balance. Okay. Bam. Super hot. Where is this sitting? D sharp. D? E? That's my. G or something? It's not even in there. It's an E. It's obviously tuned because this is sitting here. B to E. Okay. So again, just bringing it down to here. Yeah. Let's try six. Not too much. Nine. Looks about right. Other guys here. Here with everything else. And blasted. I'm not sure if the cla the clap's weak. Because again, it's based in. The kick, right? The kick's the lead part here. So, um, I don't know if I should tilt it up here. Just tilt it in the middle. Mm. Up a little more. Much tilt, maybe. Miss down. After going to be a field test, so I'll put it here for now. All right, looking at the hi hat now. Here, where is this sitting? Doesn't look like it's been tuned, just quite dirty. It looks like a D or an A. Center frequency A, dominant frequency E or D. Hmm. <laughs> so it looks like it's got some funny stuff up there, up there. And stuff down here, even. So, what do I want to do here? Bring in the frequency shifter here and call it what? D sharp, it looks like. D sharp nine. And then just push it up to. Okay, so the effects are off here. It's way better sounding, I feel. 
And so settings, just turn this down. I gotta default this someday. I'm even really using it as well though. Here with everything else. Compared to Right, and same thing for compressors. Drums, some of this. This is probably going to be a lot lighter. Where's engagement here? Way up. Almost even. Still not enough by three here and that reaches engagement there my deesser is off Sounds like airy mm, I'm gonna turn this down whilst I get set up here okay and then engagement is happening here so they'll bring in some more PEQs and just blast it Hmm. I'll turn this on first, I guess. Eh? Let's go with two. At that point, it's already pretty awful sounding. I think I got like a weird sound effect in there too. So that's with oh, it's just engagement. There's no engagement. Just engagement. Getting a lot more attack, I'm not sure why. It's way too much. Let's reset this and move it around. The attack really seems to grow. But before that attack starts growing here, um, it does, doesn't sound that great. It will be turned down though, so I'm just looking at the waveform really. That sounds okay. A little over compressed, I feel. So 7.5. Try that out. Balance. Okay. Then one span. Turn it up on morph it. Okay, so is it the frequency shifter making that sound? Well, that's the claim. Just get a little echoey when it's turned up. That's only like one note. The best way to probably deal with that would be to roll it. Like that. I gotta turn off everything else here. I got like a click. Roll off the top too, I guess. Ouch. Let's go with a letter here, E. Click's kind of still there. I don't really want to roll it off too much. Uh, do this. No. It's even worse. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, then find engagement again. Just name place. This one come in. This guy comes in. That guy comes in. So better than it was. It didn't, doesn't have that weird sound effect anymore. However, it's still clicking. Can't get any more volume. Weird. Mm -hmm. I think that's just part of the sound. With anything else here, we can come up a little bit. running is also looks like it has to come down one right what am i running here okay good all right so midi oats there we go okay Like that. Mm. Decide if it needs saturation after. It doesn't really seem like it. No, I'll just get it compressed. And then I can saturate after, I suppose. Okay, so reaching for engagement. That's the wrong thing. And this is a different compressor. I believe the engagement is at 10 on this one. The base, yeah. Okay, let's turn that down. So ten. I'm sitting at twelve. Needs to come up a few. Let's try three. There's engagement there, and I'll just start pushing into it now. Oops. Just continuing to push into it, sort of to the point where I break it. So I did break it last time here. It's good to hear that it's given out how much though. If that's my headphones rattling or part of the sound. Probably just my headphones rattling. Okay, so it's still tapping out there. Let's pull it out again. Still tapping out. Let's pull it on pull down here. There it is, look there. Okay. Let's look at it now here. So this is engagement plus these two. So here's with just engagement, no engagement. Uh, full 19 boost. Still lots of attack there. A little more. Okay, so that's a little much. The attack is completely gone at that point. So I'll just pull down a little bit here. totally clicking but there is some optimum points i feel like i mean that's too much but compression but it's got to compete with those drums so it's got a little bit of breathing a little bit of click there too so let's check every that click i think it might be inherent 
probably get away with 4.5 here. Gonna have to push it and keep the click, I think. Okay. Close everything here, back into the base, and use the balance, bring it back to Unity. It's got that click, that click's just too annoying. It's really standing out when it's quiet or not. Oh, I hate to have to um, reprocess this. So the click's a little more hidden. There's a sitting three now. Okay, so that's reasonable i'm losing a bit of uh come out there and also it's unbalanced like the fundamental is used as as usual pretty dead so i'm gonna look at using toad here see if toad can do anything to get it back so base taming on a 4.5 slope no, still. It seems to be a common issue with the fundamental constantly being half dead. Let's crank it. Well, perhaps I can put this after the compressor too. Just so I can do this without affecting the compressor. Maybe the click's gone now. No, it's still there. Wishful thinking. Uh, let's pull on it anyway, see if it's still there. Yeah, it is. So I think that's just the compressor giving out, right? See, so that's better. Louder, but better. And that's the partial remover pushing on it and then tote reconfiguring it, right? So that's quite a bit. What is that, 20? Just want to see the change here. Because when we see this first hard fundamental, it's really quite dead. This is barely beating this one. I don't even know if it is beating that secondary one. See, that one's beating it like crazy, though. Hmm, is there anything I can do about that? Not really, eh? All I can do is push it more. And hopefully, tote. Yeah, now it's beating it for sure. Let's see what the second one looks like. It's about the same now, so now I can maybe turn it down and get that sort of balance to stay. Some nice control. Okay, so we had to come down quite a bit here. Too much. 15. So there's an imbalance there as usual. The coat isn't just isn't cutting it. Okay, am I getting a stereo signal here? It's a mono signal. Um are we sure about that? So how do I tell? Um I can just look at one of the tools, right? Spectrum, center field. Yeah, so it's a mono signal. I don't know why I'm still getting so much trouble with the low end. It's just such a pain. I 
The only way to get around it is to actually boost it down there, right? So what is this? E? Key E40? Pull on it. Do it kind of drastic. That's about a difference. The difference. It's quite loud. Let's go down twenty one. It's a little much. I think it's actually resonating. Resonating. Eh? Starting to get loud outside now. Let's try about 10. Let me turn this off. And bring it back to 5. Bring it down a little bit here. 7.5. Hopefully it's not resonating again. Oh, what's it called? Oscillating. <laughs> okay, that's way better. Seems like a bigger gap now though. Let's see. Not too bad. That's fine. It's good there. Okay, and now check it with everything else here. So it definitely does need that saturation. I'm going to check out uh, these other guys here. Let me turn this off. Dim it, maybe. You can hear the bass. Okay, um... Let me stop. Alright, so now time to compress these guys. So put this up here and this down here as compressing a delay is a bad idea. However, in the past it just seemed like it's give and take. So we're gonna go rhythm here, which is an engagement point of 10. And just this polycenter. Gotta come up quite a bit. We are coming in quite low here. So we'll perhaps make note of that. And reach engagement point, which is 10. That's a little lower here. Say 12. Bring this guy on. I am going to dim it because this is a really sharp instrument here. And then start pushing on this compressor here. Not really sure what I'm looking for here. Maybe less transients. Perhaps even just turn on the uh, DSer for this. And I'll just turn on everything on the master because this is kind of the final sound, except for that. And the ozone, ozone is the system. So Looks like there's not enough attack to do what I wanted. On the compressor, I mean, like there's a ton of attack for the problem. So, in order to just try to keep the body here, which immediately goes away, so you get lots of trends or lots of attack. Start compressing. So, we have without. So even at half, I'm starting to build a lot of attack as a result of the reduction of the body. So maybe even halfway point. What does it sound like, though, right? So at this point, I'm gonna bring it up. And the pain. 
none. Nice. So it just makes it feel more stiff. I want to avoid more attacks so that it will play well with the other instruments. So, so 7.5 may be the best. A little stiff, but doesn't bring too much attack. The other option is to have a lot of uh, attack with the really stiff sound, but like I said, I want it to blend with the other instruments. So the other instruments are mostly attack based, because I want this guy to be more sustain based. And again, bringing it down here, keeping note of where it was, and then I'll bring it up to a comfortable point later. That's so loud, it's just... It was a little bit 28 or something? Way down there, anyway. It was way down there, but it is killer low now, so... 18? And the decibel, full scale. Fifteen. I'm kind of sitting down here. The laser base, another tough one. This one has a reverb. Again, we want that after the compressor. It's kind of got a little bit of bubbly sound. I'll bring in the compressor. Rhythm. Turn the boost off. This is on. Okay. Then they're bringing in these guys at point the twenty-eight-ish. Where was this sitting? 18, right? Maybe I'll bring this down to 18 as well. Or 28, rather. It's not something quite low. <clears throat> this needs to come up to engagement, which is 10, right? Do engagement at 10. A lot of attack. I need another one here. It'll be fine. However, I'm going to boost it about six to compensate for the notes versus chords. These sound like chords, right? So I want engagement there. Okay, so then compressor is actually already happening. And Okay, so I gotta meet it in the middle somewhere here. Maybe down 4.5. Still quite low. Has to be up here, if not higher. So more volume leveling than anything. However, so that that's sort of the medium point. Let's push on it a bit again. So this is the happy medium. Let's push on it and see what it does. I'm going to turn down this. I'm not going to fully dim it. I'm just going to reset it. Take it easy on my ears here. Okay, so this is full blast without. So again, it's just bringing a lot of attack. It looks like the rhythm has a slow attack. The rhythm presets. Okay, that's actually pretty fast. It's still bleeding the attack through. Push on it. Kind of want to get rid of that attack. Looks like plus three. That's the most I'm going to get out of it. Not nothing. Mm -hmm. I feel like nothing's best. Okay, so bring in a balancer and bring it down. 
Way down. And about 27 again and let's mix it in. Okay, and close everything here. Ooh. Not sure what happened, I might have lost my stream. Accidentally hit airplane mode. No, I'm good. OBS had some pre-buffer there, so held me together, hopefully. Okay, so all windows closed. I'm just gonna keep an eye on my stream. Mm, let's bring these guys in. I'm going to put this before the compressor and then I can maneuver with the compressor and get sort of a sound. However, I'm not sure what kind of sound I want, right? So this is my like flavor, so to speak. Maybe my leveler. Ozone is what? Sort of the standard, the standardizer, I guess. So this would be the flavor leveler. Okay, so does that sound good though? Pause. Some boosting here. I'm at about 18 for both of them. Kind of seem to come as a pair. Like one doesn't really sound good or better than the other. This. I feel like that's enough. It's not lots, but the beat should be. I made this mistake before of. In the lead in too hot. They're really more of a rhythm than they are a lead. Um, I'm actually just going to leave them at negative 18. This one was negative 17, right? This one's negative 18. I'll leave them cold and then I'll do some field testing, see how they sound. Till that point, let's jump on this compressor here. Um, I do want to kill this game. Is super hot. Why is it super hot? Oh, because of more effect, right? Okay, so I'm just looking at the level coming in here. Still kind of hot. Um, it does have to be low. Let's just drop this down. What is this sitting at? It's 16. Okay, so again, I'm going to be looking at this here. It's without quite wide. the settings here 18 attack and 40 what is this what is this setting um let's store in a separate date here and then just go complete mix right yeah so that's complete mix those are kind of fl studios idea which is pretty pretty um relaxed three to one and 20 in, usually a 2 in, maybe it is 20, mm, 440 soft. Mm. I'll get rid of this first for sure. And then. Okay. So it's engaging at negative 16 and turning it down some. Normally it's nominally it's coming in negative 3. And then release by about nine. 
So that sort of just bumps everything down. Let's just crank it here. It's okay, so a lot of like low rumbly sounds. It's really pulling on that reverb now. So these are exaggerated here. Well, this is negative 16, right? So let's see what kind of engagement that is. Again, I need to turn this off to see this number. Um, there's any way to get around that. It's just the emulator. So I guess there's not really. So I'll just set it to engagement and then I'll bring in the uh, Guy here, so that's quite loud. Then there, negative twelve for engagement, and then these guys. Okay, so now we're at engagement at zero here. Start looking at it and pulling on it. So just really lightly, like, I just want to squish it a bit. Bring it up to sort of negative three here. Okay. Hmm. I really want to keep this engagement. So I'm pretty much done with this, I guess. Replace that. That was just the sub simulator. Let's bring that down here. So we're really like kind of turning it down. I don't know how much that changed everything. I also want like a three down, right? Actually, should have been engagement. Uh, what is this sitting? Negative 12. Full on 18. Let's keep that on. Of course, it turns it down, eh? Oh, I almost want to bring in a patcher just to do this. Because um, I want an extreme. An extreme measure. So I think I'm going to do that. Yeah. Because I need more gain space here. Okay, so we'll replace with Patcher. Let's get rid of everything here. I think I blew the system. It was Patcher, it doesn't have a through. Okay. Then you. Let's bring in a PEQ. Two of them. Three, in fact. Oh, I wanted more gain, so probably like four. Two. This one is engagement, which is 12. <clears throat> this one's blast. And then another blaster. And then a compressor. Master compressor. And then for this guy, I want complete mix with no gain. Okay, so that should be really gnarly now. Okay, 
Look at these spikes all over the place. Yeah, like it didn't even change. I just threw spikes all over the place. It's a little more punchy. Let's bring in another one. Like I said, I'm just trying to push it to its maximum here and get sort of an example of what this is doing. Because it is a three to one, it's gonna have to it's gonna require a lot of push into it. There's the there's the uh, reverb and stuff now starting to come through, eh? So some, maybe one more and I'll get that measurement I'm looking for. Oops. That's... <clears throat> okay. Is, that is this a zeroing out? Like I won't, is it limiting? Looks like it's limiting, eh? Is there something else limiting? There's nothing else limiting. So it looks like this compressor is actually limiting. Still not broken though, eh? Let's break it. It's still holding together. Because it's 301, right? It's probably never gonna break because it's so soft. Okay, so now everything is all over the place. It's like the worst mix possible. It's still on zero, too. What does that sound like here? Okay. It's down. Dim it. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to take an ear break and then come back with fresh ears and fiddle with this to get an idea of where this compressor is really sitting. All right. Back in for the win here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off. Oh, the compressor's in there and there's no way to directly disable it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's turn it off. Not the right channel, my headphones come unplugged a bit here. Okay. That's the zero. Let's turn it right off. Okay, so looking at it, coming in a little under zero. A little round three. Fish curve just followed. Can you listen to my bait and say what I can improve on it? I do music feedback on the weekends, um, usually in the afternoon -ish. Check my schedule and during the days. During the week, I'm in the lab. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you find someone to give you some feedback. So here it is with the ultimate blare. Fair warning, this is going to be loud and gross. So. So now we're completely making a sausage here. Again, there's no way to sort of disconnect things. Coming in at zero with no headroom, no lane. So what am I looking for here? Perhaps I'll just connect this first. And let's just start with one. Right? Is this engagement? That's engagement. Okay. So we'll start with one. That's from here. Okay, so already I'm getting these weird attack transients all over the place, which I'm not even sure is going on. Okay, so the range here, looking like zero to about nine. Without, what are we looking at? Six to three. I mean, nine to about three, right? And then we bring in one guy. It looks like we're moving up a little bit. It actually looks like we're expanding our dynamic range. Okay, so let's try with another one here. Okay, so I feel like that dynamic range is getting smaller. Still not hearing any sort of um, releases pushing through. 
But it's still got that weird attack transient all over the place. And then let's try to go with four here. Okay, so it's at this point I'm really squishing the dynamics. can see it's starting to turn into a sausage. So this is probably the point where it's not good anymore. After this point, it's likely that ozone will probably take over here, right? Got a lot of rumble. Yeah, so this is a squeeze point here. So if anything... I'm gonna leave it there. This is the squeeze point where the squeeze starts. Mm. Push into it, halfways. with that and push into it halfway it's probably a bad idea deal with it later get rid of these ones in fact i want to bring this down three ozone to work its magic it's also the point where the limiter starts that's kind of what i was looking for too the limiting starts and then we're gonna bring it down three so if studio can do its or it's um ozone can do its thing okay so i'll bring in these guys Right away, a very drastic change there. Not sure if those should even be before. Not much of a difference. It's all about subtlety, but I'm not gonna split hairs here. Ozone. Okay. The ozone do its thing and determine from there. Let's close everything. Ozone. Over IRC1. Run threshold negative 3.5. Let's go ahead and let that run for a round. Letting it play through here, Ozone's doing its thing. Let's just see where Ozone's sitting. Of course, it's probably gonna underrun if I open it, right? Just drawing it visually is so hard for the performance. That's a lot, that's quite a bit. It does kind of have its own sound, though. Where's it sitting now, as far as progression? Just about through it. Waiting on the complete. Ooh, starting to die. Close this. Give it back some CPU to work with. Because I'm pretty sure underruns do affect the processing, the detection, whatever. However, that's pretty much past the point where it's got an idea already. It should be where I want it. How does it sound? It sounds better than it did, definitely. Not as muffled or ugly sounding. As far as stereo wise, it's not very big, but that's not really a major concern. My major concern is keeping it sounding um, genuine with the other one, with the classic one. Okay, so that's done. And I guess that's a field test. I'll call that a field test. Um, let's look at this in comparison though, before I jump, before I export. Definitely looks like that weird transient, that weird attack transient has been dealt with.
and it has it as overall louder. So it doesn't seem like it's zeroing out though, but I think that's where um, it's supposed to be, right? So I'm gonna get that exported. That's a wave, I dither it down and I turn it into turn it into um, an MP3 with RX. Okay, so that's running. I'll do the RX thing on stream and then I'll probably call it and do another stream just to change beats. Just waiting for that. Whilst that's running, I must get RX up and going. Not sure if there's anything. No, I don't want that. All right, so that's still going to take a minute or two. So I'll take advantage of this time to grab another coffee. So that's done exporting. I'm going to get it into our X. We could. And that is since. And then at this point, what I do, different steps here, is plug in. I emulate an MP3 at 256, which chops off the top, right? And the reason I do that is because that uh, reduces the amount of volume. I'm going to phase correct it or phase optimize it. And then I bring it back to where I want it and then I normalize it up. Um, this isn't what. The, this isn't what the distributors will get. Distributors will probably get something like this to 13.5 and then they'll turn it down to 14. However, I turn it up to 0.5, where right now it's sitting at true peak of 1.5. Look at it. The true peak of 1.5. Yep, sample peak and then 0.5, true peak. And you are 13 integrated. So yeah, I'm just gonna run this then. see it changing in the background as it runs. Now it's doing the MP3, so there goes the top part. See the phase change. And then allow this control brings it back. <clears throat> and then normalize it, it stretches it up. It's nice and loud for me. All right, and then I'm going to export that as an MP3, 256. And that goes over top the old one. Save. Yes. And open up full bar here. So I'm going to jump, over, jump to the file. P. That's. that's. And I want Synth here. It's going to drop that on a fresh playlist and make sure it's right one. It is, and then I'll right click, replay gain scan per file. So I'm looking like it's a little low, but that's fine. That's because it is quite low as far as the loudness standards. I'm just going to update those. I might as well bring in the tags as well for my phone. This is dope, bro. <laughs> And all an artist. And that's all it needs. And that's done. So I'm going to call it here. Check out my website, jwpsite.com, for my social links, latest news and updates, and public offerings. My Twitch, jwpstream, Facebook, jwpmeta, YouTube at jwptube. If you'd like to help support what I do, check out my Patreon, JWP Patreon. That's with two Ps. There's exclusive content there for making your own audio plugins and synth edit. My GoFundMe, GWP Fund, or my PayPal, GWPMAS at gmail.com. Likes, comments, subscribes, follows, whatever makes you click are appreciated. Thanks for watching. Until next time.